What's up everybody, Dan here from Headwaters. And today I wanna to show you something new and innovative, which you don't hear a lot these days in paddle sports. But first, let me introduce you to Lego. Lego's my new dog. We just adopted him a few weeks ago and he'll be hanging out and going on paddles with me. So this is what I wanted to show you. Three nondescript bags that fit right in the back of my Subaru. But there's a lot more to the story. Let's check this thing out. So I saved you guys the details of how I put it all together because it's the exact same as the S14 modular. And I went into that in a lot of depth on the last two videos I did. So if you want to learn more about how the modular goes together, check those videos out. But basically you've got four pieces, the bulkheads fit together. You have five nuts on each piece that bring the kayak together to create a nice tight waterproof seal that really makes the boat feel like one boat. So we're not really going to talk as much about the modular aspect of this boat, but more about the versatility of what the ST19 means in the paddling performance as a tandem. But the cool thing about this boat, you guys, it's not just a tandem. This middle section right here can be removed. The bow, the front cockpit, and the stern can all be put together to make an S14 G2. Super modular, super cool. If you're the kind of person that has a significant other or a friend that you wanna take out all the time, but you also wanna have a boat that performs well for yourself, this is the boat. On the stern piece, you'll see it's got a kayak sport skeg, which is a really nice skeg unit. It also comes with the rudder, so you have that versatility. It's mounted on the back piece because it's really difficult to make that modular, but it's easy enough to reach behind you and grab it once you know where it's at. You also have your rudder deployment line here. You want to deploy the rudder, spring loaded, pop it back up, you can release the ball, pops back up. Now, the very coolest thing about this boat is the fact that it's rudder friendly for the front paddler, for the back paddler, or when you use it as a single. And they've made it modular enough where it works for any of those positions. And it's just, it's quick. It's a couple loops and these little tiny, I'll show you guys. These little guys right here. They've got a little cleat in there, like a little uh, grippy point where the rope goes through. It takes a couple seconds. I'll go ahead and install them right now. And uh, then I'll give you guys a walkthrough. Okay, she's all set, ready to go. It took me about 10 minutes to do everything. Probably majority of the time spent messing around with the rudder, running the cables, making sure they're even. Yeah, it's a little bit tedious, but uh, you know, not too bad, 10 minutes. It's less time than it takes for me to blow up an inflatable paddleboard. So all in all, pretty sweet. Now again, I ran it for the back paddler to have rudder control. The nice thing about these rudders is you can adjust with the pedal and you see how it just moves right through there but you could continue to run them up front. And you see these little lines, the rudder comes out and connects to these little guys right here. You can use these little tension adjustments if you wanted to have the front paddler with rudder control. So here it is, the ST19. The S14 has been a hugely popular boat for Stellar, so it only makes sense that they would do a double version of it. And this will actually come out as a double, not modular. So if you wanted to just get an S19 and not have it be take apart, you could do that as well. That'll be coming out next year but I personally love the idea of an S19 that can be a double where you can just remove this cockpit here and make it into an S14. The other thing that I found spectacular about it is that whole 19 foot kayak fits in the back of my Subaru Outback. I've opened the hatch, I fit all four pieces in there. It was fairly easy. We went to Tahoe the other day and when we were just, we got there, we set it up. I was running around on the roof racks the whole time. But when we were transporting, I was like, man, I might as well have the boat inside, save the gas mileage. It worked out great both ways. From the back, you can see it's basically an S14 that has a second cockpit installed in it. Same stern, same boat, just a double version of it. If we're looking from the top down, same cockpit size, same outfitting. It's got the two hatches. So the one in front of the cockpit's your day hatch and the one in front of there is just simply an access so you can get to the screws on the inside when you're putting the boat together. Front cockpit, same as the S14. And again, it's got those little strings hanging down because that's so you can set the rudder up for single or double, tons of options on this boat. Let's check out the skag. It's got the kayak sport skag on this one, which I really like. It's a big skag blade with lots of adjustment. You can definitely dial in your tracking with that. A lot of people ask why the Skag and the rudder. That's something Stellar does on their S14 boats, their shorter boats. And honestly, I don't know too many people that are sad about having both. I definitely like 
having the versatility. It's got a pretty ample storage compartment if you're gonna do some overnight tripping. The only thing is there's not a ton of room between paddlers. So if you're taking this out as a double and wanting to do some camping, you're gonna be a little bit limited in space because really, storage compartment wise, it's almost the same as an S14. There's no additional storage in the center. So a little bit limited on space, but still enough where you could get a quick overnight in. So here we got it flipped over so you can see the profile of the hole. You can see it's got a fairly plumb entry, good for speed, seam there. Really flat midsection, especially in this middle piece. It's definitely pretty flat and symmetrical, and it has to be in order for it to be the tandem slash solo option. Sharp exit, really clean, smooth finish. Stellar does a nice job with the finish on all their boats. Now I'm gonna take the middle section out and turn it into a single. We'll have a look at it like that. And boom, there you have it. S14 G2. Pretty cool how that works. So same exact boat, can be single or tandem. So maybe for a couple that wants to have a double sometimes, but then wants to have a nice single to go out and paddle alone. Such a cool option. All the same details as the S14 G2 basically. Nice and wide in the hips. It's obviously gonna have the skeg and the rudder. You just dial it into the front foot pedals up there. Pretty sweet setup. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I was really excited to show you this boat. I've seen a lot of new things in paddle sports, but I've never seen anything quite like the new ST19 slash S14 G2. Two high performance kayaks, a tandem and a single, and it all breaks down and fits in the back of a Subaru. And for those who don't want the modular, the ST19 is gonna come out in a single piece kayak next year. It'll have a few more um, refinements as opposed to the 19 modular, just because you can get away with more. The fact that it doesn't have to become a single. But if you're looking for a tandem that can also be a single, definitely a great option for a kind of a quiver killer style boat. So thanks so much for hanging with me today. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.